Welcome to the Pre-Snap Podcast presented by LineStar, your top three NFL player prop bets for tonight's Monday night football action. We've got the San Francisco 49ers going up against the Minnesota Vikings. The 49ers are seven point favorites in this one. Alongside my co-host Tyler Weeman, I am Shannon Somerville. Tyler, we got some great picks for everybody. We were having a pretty good week, 7 of 11 on our picks so far. We were 3 and 1 on both of our shows for our Sunday props. And then last week on our Thursday night, we were 1 of 3. So we're looking to end the week strong here for week 7. Tyler, how was your weekend? Did you enjoy some football games? Weekend was good, yeah. Watched yeah. some football, hung out with, uh, you know, the daughter. It was a good weekend. There you go. Some quality time. I watched some scary movies in addition to, of course, my NFL viewing. Deliver us from evil. I recommend it. Although I need somebody to deliver me from the evil. That is my prop betting for college football, Tyler. I was 0 for 5, which is something that is terrible to do. Oof. I don't I haven't done that all season. And I was like, oh man, brutal. But fortunately, we did well in the NFL. All my picks personally that I placed were uh were pretty profitable yesterday. So that I needed that day yesterday in the NFL. So that was good. So hopefully we can continue the momentum here on our NFL picks mm -hmm. moving forward. If you don't have underdog fantasy prize picks, sleeper, or chalkboard. That's where you can find some of the picks that we're going to be giving out. Plus, we'll also have anytime touchdowns coming up. So we've been doing well with those recently as well. All right, let's get into this contest. We've got the Vikings who are two and four on the year. They've won two of their last three, but of course, notably without Justin Jefferson in this one still. So Kirk Cousins, will he be primetime Kirk once again without his best receiver on the field going up against a 49ers team that got their first loss last week to the Browns? And Tyler, I'm a little worried about going up against the 49ers in this one because they've got to be pretty mad heading into this contest after losing kind of the way they did last week against a pretty kind of deflated Browns team that played a little bit inspired at the end of that game without Deshaun Watson there. What do you think about tonight's matchup? I think that uh, 49ers should do all right, but I think that the game might be a little bit closer than mm -hmm. everybody expects. The 49ers are without Debo. They're also without Trent Williams, which is a huge piece of that offensive line. So, Yeah. Well, that's a really great point to make, and I'm sure something that will come up in our prop bets for today. So let's get to our prop bets. We're using the Props AI tool on the LineStar app, and you can find that tool, linestarapp.com. It's where we find the best value in the prop market by comparing LineStar's projection to what's out there in the sports books. So let's kick things off. We're going to start with 49ers wide receiver Brandon Ayuk over 70 and a half receiving yards. Ayuk's been a beast this season, averaging 90.8 receiving yards per game. He's been over in three of five contests. And he is going up against a Minnesota Vikings defense that has done fairly well against opposing wide receiver ones. But Tyler, in this one, I know he's going to get a little bit of a boost because Debo Samuel is out. He has a hairline fracture in his shoulder in this one. So he will probably see an increase in targets. What do you make of this line here for Brandon Ayuk at 70 and a half? Yeah, I like this line. I actually bet Brandon Ayuk over on uh, Friday at 65.5, oh, nice. and I would still hit it at 70 mm -hmm. here. So Debo, Debo only played 17% of the snaps last week, and that led to Brandon Ayuk getting 10 targets, which, which is two more than he's seen all season long. So I think we can expect, you know, a larger target share here. And the defensive matchup doesn't really scare me. Minnesota is yeah. allowing 176.6 receiving yards per game to the wide receiver over the last nine games. So I think it actually sets well, it sets up well for Ayuk. And Brandon Ayuk is a player that has exceeded expectations even in really difficult matchups. Like he just he's just been awesome and he has really great chemistry or he seems to with Brock Purdy there at quarterback I also think Brock Purdy in this equation yes he showed he was human last week finally we saw a few mistakes from Brock Purdy but he's been playing really well so far and I think he's gonna find his one of his favorite targets Brandon A tonight all right next up you and I are gonna pick our favorite props for tonight in Monday Night Football who you got Tyler I'm going to go with KJ Osborne over 40.5 receiving yards. It's at minus 125 in sports books. We have no Justin Jefferson. There's going to be extra targets to be had. He's gone over the last two weeks with 
you know, either a limited Jefferson or an out Jefferson. The 49ers allowing 152.3 receiving yards per uh, per game to the wide receiver over the last nine games. And really, so far this year, there's only been one passing offense that's decent that they faced, which was the Rams and Puka slash Tutu combined for 224 yards. So while on paper, it looks like a very, very scary matchup. I don't think it's quite as scary as it looks like. And Minnesota is likely to be trailing and need to throw the ball. Yeah, I think those are great bets. Um, and you also liked uh, Addis- Addison as well. Addison, yeah. Yeah, so I think both of those are pretty good. The only thing that, of course, scares me is because I took Brand- or, um, Addison over last week. So I'm still a little bitter, but that's my own. My own damage hey, to take. You got to shake that off. That's to work out in therapy, week. okay? <laughs> All right. Bygones, my, bygones. Yeah, exactly. All right. For my prop bet, I'm going to Minnesota Vikings running back, Alexander Madison. We're going under 45 and a half rushing yards. Listen, Madison just hasn't been that spectacular this year, even though he was supposed to get all this volume. And he does get a lot of volume, but he just doesn't do a whole lot with it. Line Star's projection for him this week is 36.4. He's been under in four of six games. The only teams he's gone over against have been Carolina and Chargers. Both teams are bottom 10 defenses. And I know Cam Akers is in the picture now. And Tyler, you and I have kind of discussed like what we think the workload will be. But regardless of the workload, listen, Madison just hasn't been able to do a whole lot. There hasn't been a lot of explosiveness in the run game for the Minnesota Vikings lately. I think some of that probably has to do with the fact that right now they're without Justin Jefferson, which kind of lightens the load there up front for uh, Alexander Madison. He doesn't really seem to follow his blocks very well and now he's going up against the 49ers one of the best run defenses in the NFL I like the under here for Alexander Madison to go under that total of 45 and a half rushing yards he's been a little disappointing and I know a lot of fantasy owners this season that kind of banked on him taking over for Dalvin Cook just have been just super disappointed in him do you have any thoughts on that I mean only three of what six running backs have gone over versus the Niners. So I think you're probably in a good spot here going under. Yeah. Uh, Minnesota just has not been able to run the ball very well. And they probably don't start this week. Yeah, I mean, and the game plan to kind of beat the 49ers is to kind of eat the clock and run the ball a lot, but I just don't see them being able to do that effectively against this 49ers defense that's going to be mad after losing to the Browns last week. You've also got primetime Kurt. I don't know what kind of performance he's going to put up in this one, and I'm always a little weary of of that situation on primetime for Kirk Cousins. I think he's kind of put those that uh, – moniker to bed if you will over the last couple of games any thoughts on on Kirk Cousins and his primetime performances or are uh, you, you don't you know probably I too went, much into it I I don't see that much into it I went back and looked at his Monday night stats and most of them are fairly decent games there's just a couple real bad stinkers that I think has made that kind of yeah. moniker you know st- really take hold and people have ran with it. Absolutely. Um, some other ones we were looking at, we'll drop some in the comments for you guys if you're looking elsewhere, but um, CMC, I mean, he's just been so dominant and I know he will play tonight. Correct, Tyler? Is yes, a, he will play. Okay. So over 92 and a half Russian receiving yards was one that I was looking at because this is a guy that's averaging 121.6 Russian receiving yards per game. Minnesota ranks 16th in rush defense DVOA. They haven't faced that many um, top running backs either. And DeAndre Swift back in week two had over 100. He had 181 total yards in that game. So that's that's kind of a great play there. Although you run the risk too of not exactly knowing what the condition of CMC is in this game. If they're going to be just Mm -hmm. uh, being a little bit more cautious with its usage, that's always a concern as well. But anyways, I just thought I'd throw those out there and we'll throw some more in the comments for you guys to take a look at. But those are our top three player prop bets for Monday Night Football. Now it's time Mm -hmm. for our touchdown calls of the game. Tyler, where are you headed for an anytime touchdown in tonight's Monday Night Football showdown between the 49ers and the Vikings? 
Well, I have to go to the team that is likely to be trailing, and we're going with Jordan Addison plus 235 to get a touchdown. I think the odds here are just a little bit too long. He has four touchdowns so far on the year. He's tied with TJ Hawkins, Hawkinson for the most red zone targets on Minnesota for the year. They're likely to be behind. They're going to be throwing, and Addison is the most likely to catch a touchdown pass. All right, for my anytime touchdown call, I'm going to the player with the most red zone targets over the last eight weeks of any of the players in this game. You know who it is? I'll give you a hint. Yesterday was a national holiday for this player. It's National Tight End Day yesterday and today. So we're going George Kittle for an anytime touchdown. And I like the price on this, plus 160. Kittle's got three touchdowns in 2023. And again, nine red zone targets. That's over the last eight weeks since 2023 or 2022. That's the most of anyone on the field tonight. And Minnesota ranks 26 in opponent red zone scoring percentage. Listen, George Kittle's going to get it done tonight. He does a lot of the dirty work, too. He basically is like an extra offensive lineman out there. So I like that they like to reward him every once in a while with a couple red zone looks his way. And I think that happens tonight against the Vikings. Let's go George Kittle for an anytime touchdown. <laughs> Down. Dude's a beast. He is. Gotta love some Kittle. All right, let's look at this matchup here, Tyler. 49ers, big favorites in this one. Where are you leaning? Uh, I think the Niners win the game. I think there is a shot the Minnesota covers, but if I have to bet it, I'm going to just take 49ers minus yeah. 11. Gotta go with the 49ers in this one. Bang, bang, Niner gang. Let's roll here. I think they bounce back in a big way tonight against the Minnesota Vikings, who I think aren't just aren't that good, quite frankly. Last year, I know yeah. throughout the season, they were the luckiest team in the NFL. This year, their luck has turned against them, and they're one of the most unlucky teams in the NFL. Uh, I think that probably regresses more towards the mean, and they get some sort of moderate luck, but I don't think it's going to happen tonight against the best defense in the NFL. The 49ers are just too good, and um, it'll be interesting. Nick Bosa has a tougher matchup tonight. Um, they actually have a pretty decent offensive line, so mm -hmm. we'll keep a look at that. Um, if you have any plays for us, let us know in the comments. A comment also enters you into our prop bets contest. If we hit three for three, uh, one randomly selected commenter will win $50, and we'll announce that on the next prop show. Also, NBA season starts tomorrow, so do us a huge favor. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and again, comment below because the comment will enter you into that contest. So got to be tuned into the notifications because NBA season is here, Tyler. Are you ready for it? Mm -hmm. I am. Can't wait. Let's go. All right. We're going to be busy. NFL, NBA. Yeah. College football, I got to redeem myself after the most atrocious week of my life. So it's Georgia, Florida week. <laughs> Big week for me, Tyler. Rivalry week. Yes. The largest, the world's largest outdoor cocktail party. Did you know that's what that game was called? It's official. Uh, I did not, but I'm down. Let's go. <laughs> You're always down for some cocktails. All yeah. right. Good luck, everybody, in your prop bets. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one. Have a good one, guys. Bye.